All right, I get it. I look like I'm about to try and rob the McAllisters. Leave a like if you totally got that reference. But either way, here's one for the weekend, guys. And the latest AMD Radeon RX 6800 Big Navi graphics card benchmarks have been leaked out in Basemark, which were spotted by video cards. The benchmark shows and compares the performance of the Big Navi GPU-based RX 6000 series variant, which is launching next week. The AMD Radeon RX 6800 is an impressive graphics card, at least on paper for now. We are still a week away from knowing its full performance potential against cards like the GeForce RTX 3070, 3080, you know, their rivals. But benchmarks have been leaking every now and then, which show us the graphics card is going to, well, potentially knock out the 3070 with twice the memory and surprisingly powerful graphics performance in gaming titles. The latest benchmark that has leaked out shows the AMD Radeon RX 6800. Now it's listed as the RX 6900 series within the Basemark database and well the graphics card shows up as the RX 6900 series card since it's based on the same Navi 21 GPU that powers the rest of the two big Navi based graphics cards. Now the graphics card was tested on an X570 platform which comprised of the MSI MEG X570 Godlike motherboard, an AMD Ryzen 9 3900X 12 core CPU, and running the latest driver version. Now in terms of performance, the AMD Radeon RX 6800 non-XT GPU scores 14,635 points in the DX12 API and 13,846 points in the Vulkan API. Now for comparison, the GeForce RTX 3070 scores 13,662 points in the Vulkan API and 13,368 points in the DX12 API. The GeForce RTX 2080 Ti scores 14,089 points in the DX12 API and 14,691 points in the Vulkan API. Now the RTX 2080 Ti receives a larger boost with Vulkan than the 3070, which runs at a slightly faster with Vulkan. Now looking at the performance numbers, the RX 6800 is around 7 to 8% faster than the GeForce RTX 3070 and around 4% faster than the GeForce RTX 2080 Ti and DX12 and on par with it in Vulkan APIs. Now looking at these gains, the RX 6800 series is a formidable competitor for the 3070, one that retails for $80 more and offers better performance and twice the VRAM. Sure, the card has a higher total board power of 250 watts compared to the RTX 3070's 220 watt but a 30 watt difference doesn't matter much when you look at the higher performance that you're getting out of the box. Now in addition to the base mark benchmark, AMD's Radeon RX 6800 was shown to be running an average of 2.5 gigahertz when overclocked. We saw similar results posted earlier with the Radeon RX 6800 XT just a few days ago and the graphics card averaged around 208 watts power consumption for the GPU with P power draw of 269 watts, which is slightly over the 250 watt total board power. Now, the GPU reported a temperature of 60 degrees Celsius and a maximum of 63 degrees Celsius, and the cap frame capture analysis tool was used to measure and only for a run about 60 seconds. Now, according to Cap over on Twitter, this was also running a custom fan curve on the reference cooler. So who knows what the fans were running at, but it's very impressive none the least, even on a reference design. Now a leaked screenshot of the GPU-Z showed the prolonged usage of the temps for the RX 6800 reached upwards of 674 degrees Celsius while clocks averaged around 2.2 to 2.3 gigahertz. The GPU temperature hotspot was reported at 95 Celsius. Now the maximum power usage was not mentioned, but it should be around the 250 watt total board power, which was advertised for the non-XT model. And for more on this and other news, follow the link in the description and make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so that we don't miss you in the next one.